Cereal and Spirit Talker. Connected with a nice. witch leg. With a witch the other night that I have connected with numerous times before. Um, so I wanted to see how her morning was going. Um, so we believe the name is Pearl or Mabel. Both those names kept coming in. Not sure which one. Devil. Mm -hmm. No, we're not going to start with this now. I'm looking for Pearl or Mabel specifically. The witch that I've been speaking to you for quite some time now. Good morning. Are you here with me? We live on. We live on. Who lives on? Who lives on? Or how do you live on? There. 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 T-H-E-I-R. So there. There what? Not meaning there, like over there, but there specifically. There what? Mm. Are you outside? Can you tell me where you are outside? This house is protected. Spirits are not welcome inside unless granted permission. They know that very well. They tell me all the time. Arthur. Arthur. Oh, Arthur came in the other night. Remember, Kevin? Mm -hmm. Arthur was here the other night. Hi, Arthur. How's your leg? How's your leg doing, bud? Are you okay? Can you tell me where you are? EMF is only at two bars. But like I said, um, you can see behind me is my outside my back door um, to my patio. Um... As I go out there, which after I'm done with my breakfast, I'll show you, but it goes up. But as we're in here, it usually stays at two. Children's spirits. Mm. Children's spirits. So we thought that Arthur was a child spirit. Um, only because of how he was trying to communicate with my son. Um... Oh, EMF just spiked to, it's going between two and three now. Oh, back down to one, but maybe you can see. Uh, it was just blinking at three. Let's see if we can see it, the glare. I wish, let me see if I can turn down the brightness on the, okay, Arthur. We assume that you were a child spirit, that something happened to his leg. Um, so, let me see if that works, if I bring the brightness down a little. Smell. Smell. Smell what? Does that help a little bit? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Smell? What do you smell? What are you smelling? Is it my fruity cereal? What do you smell? Did you like cereal when you were alive? I love cereal. <laughs> I'll throw something. You'll throw something? Okay. 
to let me know you're here. Kevin, listen. I'll throw something. We're not hearing anything being thrown. If you're going to throw something, you're going to have to use energy. You can take the energy from the phone, computer, um, Kevin's phone, computer, whatever you need to use with the exception of our energy describe okay as I was describing um, you're gonna need to use your energy in order to be able to throw something you have to take energy from items typically with electricity produces the most so I'm the, from the 1900s oh my god I'm from the 1900s Oh my god. So do you know what year it is now? If you can take energy from the lights or the phones or the the old. Yeah. Well, if you're from the 1900s then yes, you would be old now. Do you know what year it is right now? Can you tell me what year it is? Or what year in the 1900s you were born? Arthur, is that you? Now, like I said, we've had Arthur come through before. Vision. Vision. He said vision. Okay. Vision of what? your vision what you're seeing now or having a vision can you describe is this still Arthur you heard that knock you heard that there was a knock that just came from the wall right next to me. Was that knock you? We just heard a knock. Was that you? And right over by the light too that I told them to take energy from. Am I really dead? Oh. That's a really tough question to answer, honey, but yeah. Yes, you are. Unfortunately, but the fact that you can still speak to me means that your body might be dead, honey, but your soul's still here. I'm not sure why you haven't been able to move on yet, but your soul's still here. So you're still alive to me just without your body, and the soul is what's important. Do you remember how you died? I heard a knock. I don't know if that was you or not, but it's hard for me to see you. It's difficult to Watch. see. Watch. Okay. Watch. Yes. So, like, I, I'm saying it is difficult for me to see you, but I'm watching and listening. If you keep taking energy from the lights, the phones, the camera, whatever you can, it will help you be able to communicate. At least let me know where you are. I said, what happened to you? It's an incident. Incident. Okay. There was an incident. Can you tell me what kind of incident? Excuse me. 
Do you remember what kind of incident? Or why you're here? Or do you know where you are? What city you're in? Protect. Incident protect. Were you trying to protect someone? And that's how you died? Who were you protecting? Can you tell me who you were protecting? Can you tell me who you were protecting? Relative. Oh my god, a relative, Kevin. Relative. They were protecting a relative. Is that how you died? By protecting a relative? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But if that's true, and as sad as it is that you died, you did it by protecting someone you love. That is the most honorable way you could ever leave this world, is by doing what you did. So I'm so sorry that you, you died, but... How honorable. Insight. insight. Yeah. It's exactly what I'm describing right now is insight on that incident. And how honorable it was of you to protect someone you cared for. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Do you remember where? Can you tell me the name of of a city or a town? Do you remember where you were living when you were alive? And then I can tell you where we are right now. EMF is going up to four, Kevin. Three blinking at four. Oh, hold on, back down again. Back down to two. It's someone else. It's someone else. So, okay, so am I speaking to someone else now? I would like to still communicate with the child spirit, Arthur, if possible. But if this is someone else, as you said, it says it's someone else on the bottom there. Then who is this? Am I on video? Yes, you are. Well, I'm on video. But you're not on video. I'm on video. The only thing that is on video concerning you is when you answer me, I am recording the answers you give me so that I can go back and listen to them again. Try to find a way to help you. But... Nobody's watching except me. I'm just recording I will myself. Talk to you. Okay. I will talk to you. So, do you not like talking to people when you're on video? And can I ask why? What would you like to say? I'm listening. Can you tell me where you are around me? He died. He died. He, okay, so who died? Who died? Since he died. Now again, the video is just of myself, so that I can keep track of the things you planning. say to me. <laughs> How did he die? By planning? Can you describe what you mean by planning?
I was so hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is currently 10.59 a.m. I do have a meeting at 11 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to have to disconnect from you for the time being in a moment. But I can within an hour reconnect and turn this back on and, and speak with you again if you would like to continue speaking with me after my meeting can you can you say yes I would like to listen to whatever it is you have to say or if you can describe what you meant by planning passage 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 Okay, passage. I don't know what you mean by passage, but this communication, this tool I'm using is my passage in order to communicate with you. Is there anything else you'd like to say before I have to shut this off, just for the time being? Anything else you'd like to say to anyone or anything? Can you say a uh, silly word? Stroke. Oh, a stroke. Is that how you... Okay, so that's how this person died that I'm speaking to now. From a stroke. I'm so sorry. Can you give me a silly word that when I come back on in an hour, I can say that word and wherever you are, if you hear it, you know that I'm able to communicate with you again. More. More? I don't think that's a silly word. <laughs> but more, maybe that's the per is that who I'm talking to now? Your name's More. Okay, give me a silly word. Just between you and me. So I can say it back when I can come back and communicate with you. And you'll know that I'm listening when you hear it. Any silly word. Something funny. A funny word that only you and I will know what it means. And it, I'll say it when I'm able to communicate again. Eli. Eli. Eli Moore. Well, hi, Eli Moore. Can you give me that silly word really quick? So I can get to my meeting and I'll come back soon. A funny word. Like poop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A funny word. Give me a funny word. So I can say it when I can communicate again in an hour. And you'll know it's me. Can you say a funny word? Call out. Oh my god, call out. Okay, we could do that. I can call out to you. That's what we'll do. I'll just call out to you. So am I calling out to Eli? Okay, we'll just do that. I'll call out to you when I can come back. That works. Well, thank you so much. I'm a little sad. Oh, why are you a little sad? Is it because I have to go for a little while? I'm not trying to make you sad. It's just I have to do a meeting. And it's something that I do weekly on Tuesdays or Fridays. And it's to help my mental health and make sure that I'm, I stay strong. And live my life happily. It's important to me. It's not that I want to not talk to you, but this meeting is important to me. But when I'm done, I'll come back and I will call out to you. 
so don't be sad. Can you say goodbye so I know you hear me? And I promise you I'll be back. Can you say goodbye so I know you hear me? Listen. Okay. Listening. And when I come back, I promise to listen to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was awesome, right? That was incredible. Intelligent responses. That was so cool. I know it was Arthur that I was speaking to in the beginning. I've spoken to him prior. Um, he was a child spirit who something happened to his leg. This person made it a point to say that they were someone else, which is respectable. And then they um, said more and Eli. I think their name was maybe Eli Moore. Um, or the other way around, I'm not sure. And they were very intelligent in their responses, as you can see. Um, so my home is on a large, large, large piece of land. And numerous spirits that I've talked with um, are adamant in saying that this was um, their land or a large land uh, with many different types of people. Um, so I don't know every other day or every day depending on how my energy feels how I feel mentally and physically I put the I put the spirit box on um, and communicate just to try to get an idea of what went on here before we were here um, but anyway I really do have a meeting to get to and I am now six minutes late so we'll be back bye